he so becomes a man as modest stillness and humility. But when the blast of war blows in our ears, then imitate the action of the tiger. Stiffen the sinews, summon up the blood, disguise fair nature with hard favoured rage. Then lend the eye a terrible aspect. Let it pry through the portage of the head like the brass cannon. Let the brow o'erwhelm it as fearfully as doth the galled rock. Oh, hang and jutty his confounded base, swilled with the wild and wasteful ocean. Now set the teeth, stretch the nostril wide, hold hard the breath, and bend up every spirit to his full height. On, on, you noble English, whose blood is fed from fathers of war-proof, fathers that, like so many Alexanders, did in these parts from morn till even fought, then sheathe their swords through lack of argument. Dishonour not your mothers. Now attest that those that you called fathers did beget you. Be copy now to men of grosser blood, and teach them how to war. And you, brave yeomen, whose limbs were made in England, show us here the metal of your pasture. Let us prove that you are worth your breeding, which I doubt not, for there is none of you so mean and base that hath not noble lustre in your eyes. I see you stand like greyhounds in the slips, straining upon the start. The game's afoot. Follow your spirits, and upon this charge cry God for Harry England and St. George. Excellent. Hurrah! <laughs>